Everyone loves going as fast as they possibly can in their car in a safe and responsible manner. Second to that should be being able to stop properly. And in today's episode, we're gonna be making sure Morgan can stop properly. Surprise, surprise, Project Brake is doing another brake video, but this one is slightly different. Yes, so it's not on a race car, it's not on a lemon to lambo flipping it's car, <coughs> it's Sorry. on automotive perfection, which is my daily. Uh, and listen to Vara, you can probably tell by the, the uh, title and thumbnail. Um, we're doing, yeah, brake pads, rotors, because mine are quite warped um, and it's quite frustrating. It's Japanese massaging seats. Yeah, so I've kind of dealt with it for a while and just thought it's time to fix it. Um, and I think as well, warped rotors actually affect the performance as well. So it's not that safe, I guess. As much performance um, as a Nissan Navara can give. Yeah, so we're doing the rotors today. So without further ado, we'll get into it and uh, get cracking. So yeah, we're doing the brakes on the Mighty Navara today. So I've just jacked up the car um, and I've just loosened off um, these kind of hex bolts here and then taken off the wheel, which will just make it a bit easier um, now. So we'll get on to taking the brakes off. Uh, have I done this before? No, it's a little, it looks like it's a little more extensive than just your basic kind of car brake and rotor change because obviously the four wheel drive system and um, the locking hub and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get cracking and um, yeah, show you how to do it. Like most cars, the caliper's just held on by these two 19mm bolts here. Uh, so you just take them off and the caliper should just slide straight off the rotor. So you can now take the hex bolts out of the hub cover that you would have loosened earlier and then the hub cover should just fall straight off. So now to remove the drive clutch, all you have to do is just remove the circlip. So you just use some circlip pliers to pry it apart um, and pull that one off. If you don't have some circlip pliers, I've tried needle nose pliers. That probably could work, I couldn't get it to work. Although what I found worked was just two flathead screwdrivers and you kind of just pry it apart and then pull that one off. Um, there is a lot of spring tension to it, so it may go flying. Just make sure you don't lose this because you definitely will need it later on. After removing the two Phillips screws and the lock washer, to remove the lock nut, you just need a hammer and like a screwdriver and just hammer the lock washer anti-clockwise and that should just loosen the thread. It's not too tight. Um, and then you can just spin that all the way off. And then you can just pull on the rotor, which should make the front bearing just kind of fall out. So they can take that out of the rotor and then pull the rotor off with the hub and we'll move over to the bench. After struggling to remove the six 14 mm bolts from the hub and the rotor, you can finally separate them just with a punch and a hammer. This should do the trick. They're kind of stuck on there. You know, you can be kind of aggressive with it. Um, just try not damage the hub in any way because we will be reusing it. Okay, so we've got the old rotor off the actual hub bit there. Um, you can obviously see there's a lot of corrosion on this one. Um, it is quite stuck on there, so nothing you can just hammer out um, from one side and it'll just pop straight out. Uh, we're going to a RDA brake, which is just an OEM replacement, this one. Um, it's still got these ventilated bits there. Um, I'll chuck the uh, part number for these in the description if you're interested in something like that. We've also paired them with just an RDA brake pad as well, which I'll chuck the uh, part number for that one in the description as well. But now we need to get the uh, hub that we've just punched out of this one and chuck it in this new one here. Um, and yeah, go from there. So after you've torqued down the hub to the new rotor, you can just put everything back on the car, just reversing the steps of taking everything off.
Okay. okay, so I was going to put the brake pads back in the car, um, but just looking at it, I've noticed they look quite different. So these are obviously the old ones that came out of it. Um, and you can kind of see there's two little, um, you know, cut out bits there. Um, and that's what helps it seat. Um, on the new ones though, there's two. So um, just tried to put it in. They're definitely not going to work. So these are the wrong brake pads. So I've quickly gone down to our local parts store and picked up these. And I was told as well when I went in there, there's actually three different types for the Nissan Navara. And really the only way to tell is if you could kind of go to the parts store and put your car in or match it up with the ones you've already got. Um, so I've got these, I'll just quickly open it. Um, so these aren't RDA ones. Um, these were they're obviously not fitting. So all they had at the parts store was some Bendex ones. So we'll chuck the Bendex ones on uh, if they fit. Hopefully they do. Um, so there's those ones there. And you can see there's only kind of one nub on these. And the length, as well, I don't know if you can see, it's the same. Whereas on these ones, they're slightly different, just slightly out. So that's kind of unfortunate. I'll have to return these, um, but these look like they're gonna work. So that is good. So we'll throw these in and uh, I guess keep going. So the rotors and the brake pads are finally in, um, and it was a lot- Meaning, lock. you can stop. I can stop now, uh, well, without the shuttering at least. I took around the block, they're great. Has no more massaging seat function anymore, or massaging yep. everything function. Yep. If you're into that, I guess just don't change your brakes, but I'm not. So, change it, it's in, it's done, feels great. Um, the process was a lot different than any other brake install replacement I've done, um, mainly because it's the whole four drive hub bits kind of to it. I try and throw as much detail as I can in the video, um, voiceovers and whatnot. Um, a lot more complicated though than I thought. Um, Not a simple, yeah, pull a pin, slot the pads out. Or... No. Well, I was thinking most cars like my Sylvia, yeah. you could get it done like the fronts in under an hour probably. Um, this took me almost all day because I didn't really know what I was doing. There's a forum post that was really helpful. I'll actually put it in the description. Um, very in-depth and yeah, it was great. So if you're doing it yourself, yeah. definitely follow that, but you probably um, watch this video. Yeah. yeah, follow along. Um, but yeah, so Morgan's car can actually stop now. He's hopefully not gonna run us to the back of anyone. No. <laughs> um, in terms of what's going on with us, we are still waiting to take our Porsche to the dealership to figure out what is wrong with that. Uh, mm -hmm. That'll be coming up shortly and in the next video, uh, will be, which will be your Friday video, we'll be letting you guys ex know exactly what is going on there. Whether or not I might have eagerly bought into my favorite brand way too soon. <laughs> yeah, or it's a great outcome and we're cheering. Yes, we um, are 10, 15 grand bling, in the yeah. profit. But anyway, so we'll see you guys in the next video where fingers and everything else crossed on my body. Um, it's a good outcome. But we'll see you guys then. Stay safe and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode.